So I had two planks left over from Rockin' Wood when I made my icebox, and I wanted to make something for in the house. So first off, I wanted to make a coaster set with coaster holder, and then also a remote control holder station, whatever you want to call it, because we have four remotes. So the tools that I'm using, you can see a rigid table saw. I'm using the 10 inch Hart Tools miter saw. I'm also using the Hart Tools 18 gauge two inch brad nailer. Using the gripper and also Hart Tool clamps. The glue that I'm using is Type Bond 2. I will also be using some aging stain along with some Minwax Polycrylic Clear. So right here I'm cutting up the remote controller station. I'm cutting three pieces because I got four controllers like I said. The middle piece I am cutting the edges flush and then the outside edges I'll be cutting the inside of those pieces to where everything's going to be flush once I glue it up. And these are going to be the little side pieces for the remote controller station so that way they don't slide or fall out. So again, just gluing these up with some type on too. And this is the aging stain that I'm talking about. Do you see all those fresh cuts right there? When I get this finished, I'm not gonna want the look of fresh cuts. So once that stain dries, you can see the four off in the background. It's gonna look almost identical to the rest of the wood. So I'm using some type on too, along with the 18 gauge two inch bread nailer, just to make it to where those sides are gonna stay on there nice and secure and those remotes are not gonna slide off. Speaking of sliding around, I wanted to put some rubber furniture pads on the bottom with a couple drips of super glue. And I'm doing that for two reasons. One, I don't want it to slide around my coffee table. And two, I don't want it to scratch the top of my coffee table. So after I get that all done, I am moving on to clear. Again, I'm using Minwax Polycrylic and I am using a satin finish. That way it'll have a little bit of a shine, but not too much. And it will definitely be durable. And I know you guys usually see me spray clear on everything that I do, but because of how small these pieces are, I didn't want to go ahead and have to waste all that clear and all that time doing cleanup. So once I get done, I'm going to be letting it air dry on my table. And as you can see, some of it is milky, but once it dries, it will dry clear. So what do you think for two little extra panels that I had lying around that I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with? I figured that this worked out pretty well. So anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the follow. Rockin' Wood, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.